Fly by Night revolves around um, the Northeast blackout of 1965, um, which is a really cool backdrop for the show and for a love story. Make a move. Take action. All right, I will read a book. In a lot of ways, the blackout serves as a catalyst for the characters um, to figure out what's really important to them and what they value coming out of this year of their lives. Fly by Night has a little bit of everything. It has um, some comedy. Go to hell! It has some tragedy, it has lots of romance, um, there's some really goofy, fun characters, there's singing, there's dancing. It's a show about these two sisters and um, this guy Harold who are kind of moving out for their, on their own for the first time. Because we can't see what the future holds, and we can't see what is waiting around the bed. Um, so I think it's kind of cool to be bringing it to a group of people who are, you know, about to experience all of those things as well. I was born and raised in, in Brooklyn, New York. Thank you. While there are like main characters, it really does focus on this guy, Harold. We have like a whole ensemble of really funny and interesting and quirky characters who sort of come in to show that and like tell the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our lighting designer has been able to do really amazing things and really bring those ideas that we can't really represent, like stars and constellations and the night sky. The idea of like a night sky is really sort of representative of what fly by night is, kind of that feeling that you get when you're looking at the stars and remembering that the universe is a lot bigger than our daily problems. Come to fly by night to see some stars. And sandwiches. And some of South Dakota.